I've never cooked anything like this before. It's something that I still can't really comprehend. It's just a crazy dish and I cannot believe that I've done it. Nice, Billy. I managed to complete every element in Heston's recipe, even the shiny golden sugar ball. Amazing, Billy. Wow. Good on you, Bill. It's sort of come together and it looks really quite pretty on the plate. I may be four points behind, but hopefully I've done enough to have a shot at catching up to Georgia. Good luck, Billy. Thanks, Josh. This experience has been like nothing I've ever done in my life. I've learned so much about food and I've sort of learned so much about myself. I just, I'll never ever forget it. I'll always remember the experience. It's just priceless. Right. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. That looks spectacular. So beautiful, really beautiful. Are you surprised, Heston? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> totally. And nothing missing on the plate either. Yeah, it's brilliant. I'm a bit lost for words. I'm not normally lost for words. But I just think that's amazing. Mm. And you know, she's got she's got so much ground to make up. Four points is a long way to come yeah. back from. But gee, she is diving for that tape, isn't she? Absolutely. Amazing. to say I have to, I, I, you know with this dish <clears throat> um, I knew that I mean it was such a big challenge but for someone who's never seen that dish before an amateur cook mm. I, I, yeah um, mm. a little bit gobsmacked the fluid gels he's done brilliantly mm. yeah note for note with yours I think probably How's that sugar ball, Heston? I think she's done an amazing job. Yeah, she's some kind of superwoman. <laughs> it's incredible. Whatever happens, she has a big future ahead of her. I think, given the difficulty of the challenge, that may well have been the, the best individual cook we've ever seen in the MasterChef kitchen. I can't think of something where the, the heights the scale have been so high and the, the end result has been so good. Let's put her right back in the hunt for the title of stuff right back in front. I'm really proud of what I've done today. I gave it my best shot and I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Beautiful. Unbelievable. To compensate for the missing sugar ball, I'm going to plate up two of the chocolate balls so that the plate balances and that it doesn't differ too much from Heston's. I know not having that sugar ball is going to cost me points and I'm not 100% sure how the fluid gel is going to work out, but I'm thrilled with all my other elements. I think I'm ready. Five hours and 15 minutes it took to create this one plate of food, and that's a big sum in your head when you think about it. How are they looking? All right? Good. All right. It was all worth it. It was blood, sweat and tears, literally, but it was worth it. This is hard. You put all those elements together, there's a balance. And a chocolate sphere, the delicacy and the thinness of the chocolate itself, it's incredible. But there's a couple of issues here. Yeah. She didn't put a sugar sphere, and the fluid gel is grainy. This dish is all about, for me, subtlety and finesse. And, and that's 
uh, the flavours are great. There's lots of, you know, toasty, roasty, all those things yeah. that we love. But I think there are some significant errors on this plate, but there's also some really good stuff going on. Well, also at this point, you know, Georgia was sitting on a four-point lead. Now we've tasted it, you know, how close is that lead? Does she have a lead at all? It's tricky. It is tricky. We started with the best amateur cooks in the country in our search for the one. And it all came down to that final challenge set by Heston. And I think we can safely say that was the trickiest, the hardest, yeah. and the most demanding pressure test we have ever seen in this kitchen. Heston, how did they go? I was asked to set a challenge for the best of the best. So I did. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah. I kind of thought to myself, this could break these finalists. But today, you two push straight back. That was fantastic. It all comes down to the scores in these folders. Georgia, you've got 50 points. And Billy, you have 46. So, Georgia, that's a four-point lead. We're going to score your dish first. Georgia, I scored your dish. Seven out of ten. I thought the resilience you showed was just mind-blowing, and the balance of that was just delicious. Thank you. Georgia, I scored your dish. Seven out of ten. Georgia, I scored your dish. Eight out of ten. <laughs> Georgia, I loved the big, bright flavours. The texture was absolutely beautiful. And that's why I scored your dish... 8 out of 10. That means you've scored 30 points out of a possible 40, mm -hmm. which gives you a total after round three of 80 points. Well done. Billy, that means you need 35 or more to win. You know what I loved? You had every single element on the plate. And that's why I scored you 9 out of 10. Billy. I scored your dish a nine out of ten. Billy, I scored your dish. Billy, that gives you 27 points, which means you need eight or more from Heston to win. Billy, for me, this dish was to see how you would respond to those challenges and respond to the pressure. And I have to say, I loved the way you responded to that. And that is why I scored your dish, Billy.
You are Australia's MasterChef for 2015!